Both lobes of the localizer are AM modulated, the left lobe at 90 Hz and the right lobe at 150 Hz. The modulation depth of each lobe is different depending on our position within the lobe. On the runway center line, both lobes have the same AM modulation depth of 20%. As we move to the right of the center line, the AM modulation depth of the 150 Hz lobe increases and the AM modulation depth of the 90 Hz lobe decreases. For example, at this point, the modulation depth of the 150 Hz lobe has increased to 30%, and the depth of the 90 Hz lobe has decreased to 10%. And at the far right edge of the localizer pattern, we see the 150 Hz lobe at 40% AM modulation depth, with a zero modulation depth, so to speak, on the 90 Hz lobe. The localizer determines position deviation from the center line by using the difference in the depth of modulation between these two lobes. Mathematically, we can say the difference in depth of modulation is the measured 90 Hz AM modulation depth minus the measured 150 Hz AM modulation depth divided by 100. Related to DDM is something called SDM, or sum of depth of modulation, which is the sum of the modulation depth of each lobe, again divided by 100. So an aircraft that's exactly centered on the runway center line will see the same AM modulation depth on both lobes and the difference in depth of modulation, or DDM, will be zero. Moving to the left of the center line, that is more into the 90 Hz lobe, causes DDM to increase or become more positive. Moving to the right of the center line, or more into the 150 Hz lobe, causes DDM to decrease or become more negative. These changes in DDM are what cause the needle to move right and left on a localizer dial.